Well, hey dudes, and welcome back to another weird and wacky episode of World Building. I am he, the host, Model Monstrosities. So in this video, I was gonna build a um, scene where a bunch of weird monsters and things were fighting each other. So one or two of these guys are from stories that I had previously made up, either in my head or written down or something. But uh, a lot of them are just kind of weird monsters that are fighting. I thought it'd be interesting, and I had gotten a big bin of misprints a while ago, and I was like, hey, I could use these guys to do it. So, um, I started putting together this guy. Uh, he's supposed to be holding another guy up, because he's, like, big and strong stuff. Um, and he's got, like, what? He's got a flamethrower on his arm. But I was using parts from misprints and sprues and things. This here is a spider that seems to have, um, wires in his legs or something. And that way you can position it, and, uh, I ended up going with this position, and I also put together that guy there, he's supposed to be shooting it, or stabbing it with his bayonet. I was also using piano wire for wires on the things, for robots and things. Um, here is a little creature I call the Bump. Okay, he's not really little. I mean, here he is, but I printed him out, and he has a base that I didn't really want. I tried to get it off on the computer, so when I printed him out, he didn't have a base, but, yeah. I just kind of chopped the front off after printing him out. Um, now the Bump is a, kind of like, a, he looks kind of like a Terrascue from Dungeons and Dragons, except he's black and gray and things. He only eats veggies, and he keeps growing as long as he keeps eating. But until I make a video where um, I tell you more on the backstory of him, which I might do at one point, but for now, you're left with a black ripoff of Terescu. Um, But I glued this guy on top of the spider. Um, I had to modify his legs a little bit, because he was supposed to be sitting on a uh, wolf and not a gigantic spider. But um, I gave him a sword, and he's got an arm that's supposed to be holding reins. Um, and then here is, I was going to be casting another cliff face. So I used that perfect cast. Um, I pulled it off the mold. And started putting them in the bin. So then it was on to cutting out some of the terrain. I marked out some areas I wanted, including some hills and things. And I, I cut and broke and carved and shaped the blocks of foam until I had the desired shapes. Some of the shapes seemed to be quite tall when I did them, so I had to kind of shave them down a bit, make them a little more shallow. Um, one of them was uh, pretty tall, and I put a... Uh, I tried to make it the sides of it kind of smooth, because I'm trying to make it even from the wrong viewing angle. I'm just trying to make it, you know, still look nice and things. Here it is. And I started positioning some cliff face pieces. I'd broken some of them off and got some hot glue. There I'm trying to figure out the right sizes and things. Now usually when you put them on there might be some gaps and you might want to use some spackle or filler or something to put them on. But it kind of skipped ahead. As you can see there is goop and terrain and stuff and there are bones and the bump is on the base and there's a spider what what well see um i kind of i think i had forgot to hit the record button when i was putting the goop on and when the goop is wet i put a plastic fern thing there and a plastic t-rex skull thing there to make a weird snake thing there was also a foam rock thing and i put those guys on there on the base i also um did some painting on the bones here i also painted the base brown and dry brushed it um, and I also gave the bones some watered-down brown paint that I dabbed off. And um, then I also painted the cliff, fa the, cliff, the cliff faces. And the rock. And I gave them a white dry brush. And then I also gave some of the crevices a kind of rust wash. This makes for a more realistic look than just grays and things. Also, you might want to dab it off a little because sometimes it might be a little too strong in some areas and abruptly stops and just turns gray or something. But I like to make it kind of subtle. So 
So I started painting the spider, and um, I gave him, I gave it a black base coat. I probably could have spray painted it or something before I put it on the base. I think there was a reason I didn't, but I don't remember what it was. I also gave the bump a black base coat. The bump is essentially black and gray, so that was uh, pretty self-explanatory. And also, um, I made some grenade launcher smoke. So I would, um, I'm making it for him. I got out some cotton and put that on a toothpick and used some paint to kind of seal it nice and smooth. Um, I may have added some orange later. Makes it look a little bit more explodey. I also dry brushed the spider with a lighter gray. I also dry brushed the bump. I painted the guy with a pretty simple paint job. Pretty impatient too. I think I think at this point I would just kind of wanted to finish the whole thing. I was painting some areas on the bump gray, kind of breaking up all that black and things. I also had these little um, terrain pieces are whatever pieces, pieces of interest that I had printed out, like little animals, turtles, snakes, things like that. And there's that grenade last blast that <laughs> grenade launcher blast. That was it. Also, you may have noticed there was no footage of me basically painting the figures, except for those two. Well, I kind of just didn't stick it in the video. I mean, the video was kind of a long one already, and I showed a lot in my other videos. If you put it all together. I mean, really, I don't show much painting of the figures in any of my videos, specifically. So I was doing some static grass. Um, so. When you're doing static grass, make sure you don't touch any of the metal parts that are active while you're doing it because I've heard it can sting a lot. But this is a really great way to quickly add some greenery and things to your miniature. I also ended up adding some ferns and things or whatever, maybe not ferns, but bushes, plastic plants on it later to kind of help break it up and look a more, little bit more realistic. It's not like all out there is going to be grass. Here I am doing that. I also eventually glued down that little turtle and snake and stuff. Oh, and there's that guy. He's shooting the spider. And I'm gluing these two guys down. And I believe that would have been a build completed. Had it not broken later.